In this tutorial, I will demonstrate printing something that has a front and back image on one sheet of paper. This tutorial is challenging to make because there are a lot of factors that make it impossible for me to show you the exact process for your computer. These factors include the type of printer you own, there are many different printer brands, and each one has its own quirks. The type of computer you have, whether you are using a PC computer with Windows or an Apple computer, there will be differences in the printing operations. The operating system version, even if we have the same type of computer, that doesn't mean we're running the same operating system. For example, you may be using Windows version 10 while I'm using Windows version 11. There will still be a lot of similarities, but it may look a little different. You need to look up your printer's manual to figure out whether or not you have a duplex printer, which is a printer that automatically prints on both sides, or a printer that you have to manually flip the paper and reload it. I had the manual printer for years and have done a lot of paper flipping in my day. My best advice is to test out printing something on your computer that has a front and back page. This will allow you to figure out how your printer flips the page to ensure your orientation is correct. Changing your print quality to draft or eco mode will allow you to save printer ink while you figure out the ins and outs of your own printer. In fact, I have made a free low ink printable available to you so you can run tests for yourself on your own computer. Since there are so many factors that play into the exact process of printing on both sides of a sheet of paper, I decided the best thing I can do to help you is to demo how it works on my computer. So please keep in mind that there will be differences between my setup and your setup, but there will also be similarities that hopefully you can find helpful. Okay, so I'm planning to print this product here, which is the flashcards from Susan Parody Piano Teaching Resources, that on the front of each flashcard is a grand staff with notes on it, and on the back page is the answers to each grand staff, including this blank one here, which aligns with this blank grand staff when you flip it over. This is all going to be printed on one sheet of paper. This will be on the front and this will be on the back. So I'm going to come over to menu and say print. Right now I'm using Adobe Acrobat Reader, but it's the same process for whether you're in Microsoft Word or any other program. Remember, things are going to look a little different from your computer, but it will be kind of the same concept. Once I'm in here, I need to check my printer. I'm using the Brother MFC J1010DW printer. It's a good printer. I recommend it. It's very reliable. By default, I think it prints a little lighter than I would like, but if I switch over to a higher printing quality, it actually looks really good. And this printer was pretty inexpensive as far as printers go. So when it comes to changing the settings, we have a couple options here. First of all, on this particular piece, I just have two pages that need to be printed as one sheet of paper. So I can say pages to print all. If I wanted to only print certain pages, I could come over and click pages and say just pages one through two or something like that. Now with all products from Susan Parody Piano Teaching Resources, you're gonna wanna always click actual size. So by default, it was shrink oversized pages, but I want actual size. That way it'll ensure that the front of the page will match with the back of the page if you wanted to cut out these flashcards. You may need to play with orientation sometimes, but we don't this time. And what we're going to do for my printer, it is a duplex printer, meaning it can automatically print both sides and that does save a lot of time. But in order to do that, I need to say print on both sides of the paper. And when you check this, it gives you an option on whether you wanna flip along the long edge or the short edge. Since both of my pages here are oriented upright, that means I want to print them along the long edge. So imagine flipping the paper from side to side. Now I can just simply hit print. Before I hit print though, I wanna just show you that right now I'm using the software 
dialog box, but if I come over and I see an option called properties or printer properties, you can actually go in and use the more specific printer properties that come along with the drivers of your printer. So here you can see a lot of the same options. I can choose the orientation, I can choose how many pages I'm doing, and I can choose whether or not that we're going to print one-sided or two-sided or anything like that. And even your printer might even have more options such as printing as a booklet or something like that. So this is what you need to discover while going through your settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and say two-sided and just also say two-sided settings and you can see once again, I have even more options on which ways I can flip my pages. So in general, if you go into your, your actual printer's properties, you're gonna have more options than just the options you're given with the software. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel out of this because you don't need to do both. If everything you need, you see it right here, you don't need to go into the deeper properties. But if you don't see the options you need, go into the properties and look there. Oh, one thing I did wanna show you though, was that it is within these more advanced properties that I can change my printing quality. And for me on my computer, it's called eco mode. I've also seen uh, fast or low or whatever. And if I'm, Printing this out and I'm going to use it with other people, I'll use normal or even best sometimes, but just know those use more ink. And so if you're just doing tests, then you wanna go ahead and choose Eco. All right, and then I can just hit okay. Now I'm gonna show you what I would do if I didn't have the ability to print on both sides of the paper. So I went ahead and said, turn off, print both sides of the paper and what I would do in this scenario is I would say, all right, just print the front pages. So in this case, I can just say hit current. Well, actually it's, it thinks it's on this page because I'm scrolled down. So I'll just say page and I'll say page one. And what I would do here is I would just go ahead and say print the first page. Okay, there we go. It just updated. So I would print just this page and then I would get up, walk over to my printer, get out the paper and flip it, load it back into the printer and walk back to my computer. After I did that, I would come back and say, all right, now I'm gonna print the second page. And that's how I would do it manually. You can see that this would be a lot slower if you had a lot of pages that you need to do this on. So maybe what you could do is if you had something that was organized in one file as like the front of the page and then the back of the page and the front of the page and then the back of the page, then something you could do is you could say, all right, I want to print one comma, three comma, five comma, seven, and print all those at once. Then go and flip all your pages in your printer all at once and then say, okay, now print two comma, four comma, six comma, eight comma. So that's another way you could do it much faster without having to get up over and over again. Now, just for the heck of it, I thought I would open up Microsoft Word to show you my front and back page paper and show you that when I'm in this program, which is not an Adobe product, but is a Microsoft product, if I go file, print, you can see now the dialog box looks even more different. So I just wanted to show you this because um, once again, all the options aren't here, but I can say print one-sided or print manually uh, on both sides if I wanted to, or automatically print both sides. You have all these options. Uh, the manual one is kind of interesting because it gives you a little pop-up after you print one side. It says, okay, go flip your paper and then uh, print it again. So it has that option as well. But if I want to get to my printer properties, so the settings for my specific printer, then I can click on printer properties and now you see this window again 
which allows me to go through and have even more options. So as you can see, it really depends which program you're in and what printer you have. It, it can really change for everyone, but it really it comes down to, do you have an, a printer that will do this automatically for you, or are you going to have to go and flip the pages manually? I've opened up the cards that come along with the game the Ladybug game on Susan Parody Piano Teaching Resources. And what we have here is a file where we've got multiple levels of playing cards for a board game that people can print out. So here I have just the ladybugs on the keyboards. Here I have notes on the staff, which is a little bit more advanced. And then at the very bottom, I have the cute backs of the cards, which are not necessary to playing the game, but is completely optional but is really cute. So how would we print something then if we wanted to have maybe just these easier cards of the ladybugs on the piano keys and have the backs of them as well? So I'm just going to go into the print menu and so we've seen this before and what I'm going to do is first I'm going to ask myself, do I have a duplex printer and am I going to automatically have it print on both sides? Which I do, so I am going to have it automatically print on both sides, but I do need to change some settings to do that. First I need to say print on both sides and flip along the long edge. Then I'm going to come over into my pages and right now it's saying print pages one through five, but I only want the front page and then the back page. I don't need all this stuff in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say one comma five. And now when I click on it, you're gonna see that I have just the front page showing up and just the last page showing up. And so there we go, we're ready to print that out. Now, if you don't have the duplex printing, I'm gonna unclick print on both sides of paper because that's not gonna help you if your printer can't do that. And instead, I'm gonna say, all right, let's print the front one. So right now, it will only print one side, and then I could get up, walk over to my computer, flip the paper, and say, now, just print page five. And it will show you the page five that I'm printing. What if you're thinking, okay, I have a product that I need to print 20 copies of this, and my printer doesn't support duplex printing. Does that mean I'm gonna have to get up and flip it 20 times? No, it does not mean that. You'll still only have to get up to flip it once. So let's say we had a scenario where we wanted to print multiple copies of something that have an image on the front and an image on the back. So what I would do in this scenario, I would go and say, all right, let's go to the front page and just have print that, but I'm going to type in 20. And so then I would have 20 pieces of paper with this printed on the front. Then I would walk over to my computer, take the whole stack of that 20 paper, flip it over and load it back into the printer. This is where it's really key for you to know how your printer pushes that paper through it and whether or not you need to be flipping your paper sideways or flipping it vertically or horizontally, you should test this before you do 20 copies. Then I'm gonna switch it over to page just five and hit print again. And so then you will have 20 copies of both front and back and you only had to get up once. I hope this has been helpful to you. I know it can be frustrating that I can't come to your house and tell you exactly which buttons to push, but hopefully this video has enlightened you a bit and maybe made you a less afraid of the whole process.